What's up logical people? This is Amar. You are given a multiplication of two three digit numbers. It follows a beautiful pattern of numbers from 1 through 6 in a diagonal format. But all other digits in this calculation are hidden with dots. Can you find out the values of these dots? Pause the video and think logically. Let's see how to solve it systematically. It's a standard multiplication. So these three dots should have a value of 0. 2 times 1 is 2. Now it seems very difficult to proceed further. But this digit 2 in the second number gives us two important hints. When you multiply a digit by 2, the highest possible carryover you get is 1. Now consider that the next digit also has the highest value 9. So 2 times 9 plus 1 gives the highest possible value 19. This time as well, the maximum carryover is 1. The second important point is that if there is a carryover, then the outcome will be an odd value. Because 2 multiplied by any number gives even value and adding the carried over 1 gives odd value. Coming back to the puzzle, now concentrate on the second row. 2 multiplied by the third digit gives an output as either 4 or 14. It can't be further higher such as 24 because we have seen that the maximum possible value we can get is 19. Although leading zeros are usually not written in calculations, but they are absolutely valid to consider as they don't change the meaning of a number. Especially while solving crypto arithmetic or encoded problems, it's quite logical to consider the case of leading zeros. Let's first consider the case of 04. The output of 2 multiplied by third digit is giving an even number. That means there was no carryover on the third digit, and the only possible value of this digit is 2. The third digit of second number can have a maximum value of 9. While multiplying 9 by 2, even if we consider the maximum possible value of carryover as 8, then the maximum output will be 26. But in the third row, as we already have a 5, we can consider the maximum output as 25. Now the important point to note is that if we add 3 maximum possible digit values, we get the maximum value of carryover as 2 for the next column. So this column can have a maximum carryover value of 2, which gives the addition as B7. Now the leftmost column doesn't have any carryover, so it should give it some value as 2. But in the puzzle, the given value of this digit is 6. That means this case is invalid. So we should go back to the point where we had two possible values 0, 4 and 14. Now 04 is out of the game, that's why the correct value is 14. 14 is an even number, so there was no carryover on the third digit. That's why it must be 7. Now in this column, we have 1 plus 5 and we have already seen that the maximum value of carryover in such addition can be 2. That gives a maximum value of 8. Which means that it's not going to give a carryover to the next column. And since we have the final sum of this column as 6, we can say that this number here is 6. And we can get 65 only if the third digit of second number is 9. So 9 times 7 plus a carry over of 2 will give 65. 9 times 1 is 9 and it doesn't give any carry over to the next digit. But this number when multiplied by 9 gives a carryover of 2 to the next digit and only the number 3 satisfies this condition. So 9 times 3 is 27 and we can replace this dot with 7. 2 times 3 gives 6. Now concentrate on the first row and the first digit. Any value of this number when multiplied by 1 will not give any carryover to the next digit. But when it's multiplied by 3, it may or may not give a carryover to the next digit. 
Consider case 1 when there is no carryover on 7. First digit multiplied by 7 gives an output ending with 3. Only 9 times 7 can give desired result, that is 63. But in the same case, 9 times 3 gives a carryover 2 to the next digit, which invalidates the whole case because this case requires no carryover on 7. So ultimately, the other case would be true where there would be a carryover on 7. 3 multiplied by any number can give a maximum carryover of 2. So 7 gets a carryover as either 1 or 2. Now this digit multiplied by 7 plus 1 gives an output ending with 3. Only the digit value 6 satisfies the condition. And in the case of carryover 2, the value 3 satisfies the condition. So the first digit here is either 3 or 6. Case 1, if it's 3, then 3 times 3 won't give any carryover to the next digit. That's why this case is invalid. So the only possible value of this digit is 6. Now we can quickly replace the remaining dots. 6 times 3 is 18, so 1 is carried over to the next digit. Perform this simple addition and the puzzle is solved. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and share the video. And if you are new, please subscribe to my channel and stay updated with a new logic every week. Till then, give a try to these brain teasers. Also check out difficult puzzles on my channel, Logically Yours.